I went for a dental consultation on Wednesday, paid the £65 in advance, no problem there. Dentist told me what he was going to do. Um, and so we said, I said, OK, I agreed to that. He know he told me the work that he wanted to do. And then he said, but it won't be until August, which I thought that was a long way, August the 10th, because I wanted it done the following week. And I thought, oh, well, I'd better book it. So I booked it. And it was almost as soon as I, and I paid, I paid £200 deposit. He said, we'll need the deposit. I said, OK. I paid the £200 deposit. When I come home, I thought, I was impulsive there. I thought it was much too dear to wait August the 10th when, it, when you're going private. I just thought, that's a long way away. I've got my daughter's two weddings to go to. So my well, question is straightforward. If I, I, I want to cancel on Monday to cancel the appointment, can I get my £200 back? Oh, that's tricky. But I'm assuming you booked it at the dentist surgery. At the dental surgery, yeah. because yeah. when you book it at the dentist surgery, you don't have the right to a 14-day cooling off period. Um, oh. So it's all going to depend on what the dentist's terms and conditions say. Now, it's very possible that they'll just hand it straight back to you voluntarily because dentists are dependent on goodwill in the local community. Yeah. And you can explain, look, I found somewhere much, much faster. And I, I'm assuming it's non-urgent treatment, Ron, or is it urgent? No, it's cosmetic. It's more cosmetic, cosmetic than the okay. So, so seemed, It was double the price what they, when they Google. It seemed double the price. And it could be because there's a lot more work. You didn't go into great detail about yeah. that and i just thought wow that that that's a lot that's just a lot of money for, yeah. and then he said it only be a 40 percent improvement okay so uh, ron i i don't know where the best place to get your cosmetic dentistry is it might be the dentist you've booked is is the best place yeah, and, the, yeah. and the google uh place would then would take one look at you and say actually ron your teeth your teeth are worse than we thought our prices were from x and you're going to yeah. have to pay the same amount as you were quoted well, was, but but um, in, in terms of getting your deposit back, it's going to depend on what the dentist's terms and conditions say. Hmm. If they say it's non-refundable, it's non-refundable. But it's just a straightforward receipt, isn't it? But, is it, but, but he hasn't they, lost they, any work because it's in August. It's nearly two and a half yeah, months they will, away. They, yeah, but the problem is it's, it's not like you paid the deposit and then they gave you the appointment and it was an unreasonable amount of time off. You paid the deposit and booked it knowing when the appointment was. Hmm. So it's going to depend on their terms and conditions. But even if their terms and conditions say non-refundable, I think most dentists, most local dentists would refund it anyway, just for goodwill, if you yeah. cancel promptly. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll just go straight there, 9 yep. o'clock Monday. I was there, it was there 5.30 on Wednesday. So they wouldn't have lost much in two days. They no, must be of course busy not. if they can't fit me into August. I just thought it'd be straightforward, but I'd rather check with you. So, <laughs> I, can't, so I can't lay the law down. Oh, well, you so g- if they say no, we're not going to give it to you. I haven't got a leg to stand Well, ask, ask to see their terms and conditions. And you can also consider saying that I'm going to report you to, the, to your professional body. But oh, okay. um, again, if, if the terms and conditions allow them to keep your deposit, they're entitled to keep the deposit run. 